Well, folks, the last episode started with war, and guess what? So will this one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Old World, our 4X strategy game that we've been seriously addicted to. And in the last one, we were starting a war. Actually, we didn't start a war. A war started with us versus Carthage. Today, it's Assyria. Rejoice for the hands of Assyrians. Uh, the hand of Assyria reaches to uplift the petty barbarians of the frontier. Bonsilus shall fall under the Assyrian rule. And if this claim is not recognized, the other hand of Assyria wields the sword of conquest righteously. Queen Atalia, the new of Assyria's words, leave little doubt. Ponzi, the only prize that they will accept. Yeah, we're definitely not doing that. That's like my go-to city for all things amazing and wonderful. So it's just not happening. And now that the Duchess Amelia, who is our third in line, she's completed her study of politics. What role suits her? Mm, we're going to be a hero. 100%. All right, so we now are at war with these guys. Like, oh, for freaking real. That's fine uh, because we actually have a really good head start because we have just the ability to come in and do all the things right off the bat. So hopefully we are okay. Now, I actually did start before recording. I do have a lot of my people moved. Uh, we are also like on the verge of dying. So that's a, a really different situation that we're in, uh, totally. So we're probably going to die next turn, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm still concerned that Carthage is just going to come in and sweep me, and maybe they will. Like Maybe they will just absolutely decimate me now that uh, you know I'm kind of in the crap here. But maybe they won't. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Now, regardless, we have lots of places and things to be can I just add generals? Oh, I can. Awesome. Same unit adjacent. We do have... Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Because we do have a longbowman here. Uh, this is General Mamercus with a longbowman there. We do have a longbowman here. We should be able to really be able to utilize that quite well. We can't do anything there because we actually don't have anyone to choose from. Oh, we're just out of turns. Is that what it is? So I could like do this guy? I could do this guy. That's good to know. Let's uh, Let's go right here. Let's go over here. And let's get our last guy, which this kind of sucks. Defense streak going down is really a bit of a bummer, but they can't die very easily. So we're going to go there anyways and hope that it works out well. Outside of that, there's really not much else. I don't want to move all of my troops because I seriously think that Carthage is just going to come in. I'm terrified of them with, uh, with uh, a good right to be. Oh, sweet heavenly mercy, they have elephants. Yeah, I would move away too. And we have naval units. I haven't had a naval battle in this entire game, so that's going to be fun. Oh, very cool. Uh, prominent local leaders of Rome wish to host a seasonal festival celebrating national values. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll gain all of those civics. Uh, what do we got here? Workers have discovered a rich vein of ore at the local mine. Should increase production. Uh, we have a little bit of wiggle room in this area. Yeah, for sure. I'm okay with that. Now the Duchess has completed her study of commerce, which should she be? We're going to ro roll with an or uh, order because we really need that civics boost. Remember, we're trying to consistently work on that. Ooh, and we can finally get cataphracts in 10 years. That's all. Uh, that seems like a lot, especially when we could get a temple, which would do some boosting or exposing an agent network. Let's look at our tech tree. Oh, I really, really want rhetoric. But again, we may never, ever get that which means we may never, ever, odds are we're not going to get a crossbowman anyways, but it still would have been nice. So it looks like they seriously just went down the route uh, on the bottom in terms of Carthage, which is a bit bonkers. We're going to go ahead and go after cataphracts though, because it's one of our options that we have. And again, our discontent is, is so high that it's starting to cause rebels uh, to pop up. So we're going to work on those guys as much as we can. In fact, I am going to go ahead and commit to that over there. Now, they have a significant force. Because of course they do. Why wouldn't they? So we are going to we are going to retreat. Like, I think that's uh, the obviously smart thing to do because we do have a lot of troops coming in to help reinforce. So I'm not I'm not too afraid of them is what I'm saying. Now we are going to continue our war around here cuz I think we can and would I even be able to do anything here? I will next time, which will be good. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use these guys as much as we can. Go ahead and come back. We're going to have you guys try and be useful in other ways. My my goodness. All right, nothing else we can do on that front. We need to get our 
everything rolling again. Lots of longbowmen coming in. Orsia the Younger, who's no longer young, she's 60, is too old and needs to be retired. So we're definitely going to do same unit adjacent because that's just one of the best solutions that we have overall. And we can start moving our other units up here because, well, I think we really, really need to because, good lord, that's a lot of troops. And I don't really know what they've been doing this whole time. I'm hoping we could take something from them because Assyria is rather weak and we are just, just behind Rome or Carthage in this race. This is one of those scenarios where it's like, it's about time that I'm starting to have some good leverage. Because we've got our boyo right here, General Mercus, who gets a great deal of everything. Like, we can really take him out. Now, again, we are losing a lot of stuff because of our family relations. And they are not good right now. Like, they are terrible. And it really, really sucks because there's not a lot that I can do. Especially because all these people keep declaring war on me. But what I can do is I can ensure that we can at least take out a couple of units pretty daggum easily. Now, what I would love to do... We are going to, I hate saying waste because it's not really a waste, but at the same time, it is a bit of a waste because we're using up a precious resource. But I think with our army set up that we have here and what we're bringing in, we will be able to take out a good chunk of these people and uh, be able to do all the good things. But we really still need to work on a lot of stuff. We are finally hemorrhage, hemorrhaging uh, a lot of food. And so we're really going to work on that now. Are there a lot of farms next to us? There are a lot of farms next to us. So if we do this, we will increase the value of our farms a lot. That is well worth the investment, 100%. We still need to do production down in Halala, or Alala, excuse me. Uh, do we really want to keep focusing on just using some ranged, or do we want to get like some spearmen and stuff? We can't get spearmen because that's, or uh, swordsmen because it's just too expensive. We'll go ahead and roll into this. We're going to really push our production values. And we are really going to push our value there. Now, admittedly, I'm surprised that wood is so cheap to sell because you would think it would be the opposite. But it is. So we have to deal with it. No big deal whatsoever. I do have the ability to add another law. Now, again, we do need more laws simply to allow other things to happen. We have to have four laws in a lot of instances for this to work. Now we have a lot here. One random promotion can hurry units with money. We do have an upkeep of science. A zealot opinion goes up. I, we could do a pilgrimage, which means that all of our groves get uh, two science per year. We have high training is the cost of that. I don't know that I want to do that because that's a lot. However, there's so many things we could do. I want to see what we really could do I'll be back. I think it makes sense to do a professional army. We get a lot of good experience here. Now, all cities get plus two per year at the treasury. I don't really think we have very many of those if we have them at all. Now, the downside to this is that uh, we use up 60 buckaroonies a year. But the good side is that it brings the Claudius family a little bit closer to us. And again, that 50% 50 experience, 50 experience means that we will be able to upgrade our units a little bit faster and the hopes that we can really take them out very well. Now, admittedly, I wanted to use this, the extra surplus to kind of keep us afloat, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen, and that's okay. Like, we're just going to have to deal with it for quite a few more turns, and we will be all right, I think, unless they just come in in this next turn and just... I mean, there are a lot of <laughs> units down here, so I guess that would be feasible to expect that it's going to be a long, long... Here we go. Finally, some good developments. Well, for one, we captured a city, but we have a solid foundation now. This is exactly what we wanted in order to secure our borders. An ambassador arrives from Egypt with a diplomatic offer. A Minotep desires to build a relationship on a solid foundation as solid and reliable as the magnificent stone from your quarries. Now, we are going to go above and beyond. We could do a regular piece. Or we could accept a piece and increase their opinion of us by giving him 55 stone. That's a piece of cake. And we haven't died yet. Agrippina the Ready is not ready to go. During the now completed festival in the city of Ponzilus, practitioners of Manachianism visited the great city and joined us in celebration. Well and good, they seemed inclined to linger. Hmm... There we go. Yeah, that works because that gives us a really good amount of cultural growth. 
which should okay they are legendary freaking flapping fantastic so i don't really know that that did a lot like the festival did a lot I really could not tell you the benefit of that happening. Now, I will say we do have uh, a herbal, or bill, uh, but th I don't think that this is all that terrifying. The uh, ballista is, I will give you that, but this Axeman is old. These archers and stuff are old. You can see here that simply by having a few of us here, uh, we could negate a lot of the issues that come with uh, the people over here. So I thought I had a general. I swear I had a general here. Did he, he didn't die. He, I, I had a general. Unless this is him? No, I don't know where my general boy is. So that's unfortunate. That, that really kind of sucks. But what I can do is I can pop back here and still be able to wail on them. And I can have my big boys come in to the middle of this fight as well. So we're going to come out here. Oh, we can't. Okay, that's different. Uh, I don't remember doing anything to him. There we go. That's still fine because we have all of these orders and we still have the ability to just come in and cause a bit of havoc, if you know what I mean. Because looky there, we still get that cross hit in the area. So that's really stinking nice. I can take out that conscript. We can take out that boyo. We can take out... Yes, we can. Yeah, so we just took out several units. So that's why I'm not afraid of these people. Because they are a little bit inferior. And it's nice. I, I feel like I know exactly how Carthage felt when they fought us. It was just like, oh, I could, I could take these guys out. This isn't a problem. Uh, but it was a very big problem for me. Now, we do still have the issue of... Uh, we have quite a few rebels that keep popping up due to discontent. I'm I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't know how to combat that. I don't know how to make people happy while still juggling all the wars that I have to juggle uh, and doing all of those things. So it's a bit of an interesting scenario. Now, admittedly, our families have all kind of started dying off. So their opinions are going up of me, which also may be helping to uh, why I'm doing okay right now. I can't uh, claim that that is it. Hmm. We could do a treasury. That's plus 10 per year. That's not too shabby. It does cost civics. Okay, so I see where our civics issue is. That being said, our civics issue right now is not that bad. All things considered. I am quite satisfied with where it is. Now, a spearman isn't necessarily where we want to be. We are going to go into some swordsmen just to kind of work on our production. Because, lo and behold, I guarantee you what's going to happen is that we are going to get hit by, uh, I imagine, Babylonia. I don't know for sure, but I imagine Babylonia is going to come in. Now, I will say this. Carthage has just been on a rampage against Persia. I imagine Persia is like over here. Or something I really don't know where they are they would have to be like over here and they're just taking it over I do think Carthage is gonna end up winning this I am nine points behind and even if I were to take over all this stuff I just don't think it would happen so it's a bit unfortunate but you know what this is a still a fun game still really flipping flapping enjoying it so I can't complain but outside of that everything's going pretty daggum well aside from Carthage potentially like wrecking us which we're working on our relationship with them i think we'll be okay and again we now officially have a peace with egypt so that helps on as well well the nation of persia is gone which means that carthage is working even more okay now the end is near thank you for letting me know that the prophet money has come for you with the request to go traveling yeah that's fine that's totally fine now we are in a uh, a dip I guess you could say, I don't call it a diplomatic retreat. It's not like we're working on that angle, but we can go ahead and start uh, working on moving backwards. I don't see any issue with this. This is just a simple way. I think that they, I won't say they're like running out, running out of troops, but I do believe that they are kind of on the edge of, of what they can do. I remain to be consistently stunned over here. So that's a super fun thing. Here we go. 
One of your generals has put forward a suggestion following the recent combat. He wants to rename the ship Praise the Two Lands. Sure, why not? There we go. Small little way that we can contribute to society in that regard. And then we can, everyone's going to heal up over here. That's all well and good. I don't need to move out uh, and, and attack. Although, wow, 18. Ooh, that's super tempting. But I mean, like I said, they don't really have the ability to take us on uh, super well, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, heckle myself and cause any issues. But I do think we have a pretty daggum good uh, stance on us. We do have a couple of generals that we could take out as well. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Uh, but again, I really think Carthage is going to end up winning this overall. <clears throat> all right. Queen Agrippina the Ready has died. The thing is, though is that Domitia the New isn't much younger. At the funeral, you're approached by Queen uh, Beelzebel, the beloved of Carthage. I owe a debt to Agrippina, was not able to repay it. Um, ask that she keep the favor for the time being. No, we're going to get a nice boost to our coffers. At last, the time for your coronation has come. Our advisors encourage you to keep the ceremony traditional. But you have mentioned several unconventional ideas. Oh. You were going to gain a Festival 4 in Rome. Absolutely, I think that'll work. Middle of the day, your dog comes barreling through the court, caterwauling and whimpering as it runs. I hurried servant. My apologies, McQueen. The dog startled several camels. Duchess Amelia <laughs> was thrown from her camel. The servants bow again to stress. How should we handle it? No, no, no. There is no harm to either party. We're fine. We are all good. Now, unfortunately, uh, oligarch Romulus the Younger, who could look like they'll die any day now, really, really despises us. Like, really despises us. So that's an interesting thing to do. Uh, now, over here, we're actually not too shabby. I feel like we could launch our offensive, relaunch our offensive again, and everything would be really good. We could also just work on uh, promoting our people who really need promoting and or healing those just to kind of give one last little boost before we start going into this because we are, I will repeat, we are going to get into this. <laughs> there's just too much, there's too much at stake here. We have to keep the momentum going. And I think that's an absolutely crucial aspect that we need to consider and move forward with. Now, we're all good there. We did end up losing that unit, which is not a huge deal overall. And yeah, we need to just work on healing up. We do have rebels that we've been dealing with nonstop, but also we're okay now outside of this. The upkeep is starting to kill us, but we could continue to work on our farms. Now, what I really wish Carthage would do is I wish they would like move out of the way and go back home. Nobody wants you around here. Certainly not me. And it would just be great if you would just leave. But I don't think they will. I don't think it's in their plans. I don't think they have any desire to. I think they like making me sweat. Now, one of the things here is that we are starting to build strongholds. Strongholds are what are needed to build our Hestatus. Now, our Hestatus at the time is actually not as good. But our Legionary is what is kind of where we're wanting to go. Where we can testudo giving it a defensive bonus against range. It's basically an exemplary uh, fortify position thing. But they'll counterattack, but it's really cool. I, I just I just want to get Legionnaires. Like, we haven't had them the whole game, so it makes sense to have them. We can work on our farmer. Absolutely. Farmers are a good thing. It's going to give us a big boost there. What can we do over in this yonder place? This is actually perfect. We're going to offset a lot of our damage uh, done by the new, the newness of our rule by having that mine over there. And then everyone else, oh, we could definitely use you on the front line in the next turns. Antium needs to know what to do. And again, what we need to really focus on is our civics. So we're going to work on an Elder Poet. Uh, that will give us some happiness as well. As well as boost quite a bit of our... 
Oh, we're already legendary. Very cool. So we're starting already to get developing and working on those things. Let's go ahead and work on our damage repair for this place. And, oh, my word. Yep, they're definitely going to win. Definitely. For sure. It's very unfortunate. But still having a blast. An entourage of grim ambassadors come from Carthage. They bring a message from their ruler. She demands that we declare war on their enemy, the Danes. No, that's fine. That's going to be an easy thing. Like, they're not going to come at me. There's nothing we can do there. And then Queen Atalia, the learned of Assyria, who declared war on us, has passed. Queen Akbara, the new of Assyria, ascends the throne. The war has gone on for too long. No, we will not have peace. Nope. I, I, no, absolutely not. And also, the death of Queen Adagupi, the noble of Babylonia, has passed. And Queen Beltam Rimini, the new of Babylonia, comes to the throne. The week after she's named, your guards catch an agent who had joined the palace servants claiming to have been invited. There's a limited amount of time before the scheming Beltam Rimini, uh, Rimini realizes her agent has gone missing. Have the agent disappear? Yes. No, that's fine. And then oligarch Remus the Younger has come to you as a representative of the Claudius family, asking to discover Porticolus and Chain Drive, or control six agents. No. We already hate each other. Like, why would I still work on that? Oh, sweet rhetoric. That's actually exactly what we want to do. Yep, it's only going to be one year as well, which is a very easy sell for me. We did lose a good chunk of units here. Uh, or not a chunk. We lost a unit here. Which really sucks. So if I attack right like that, dead, dead, correct? Yes, correct, Amundo. You're dead. You will be dead before the day is done. Right? Yes. And you attacked as well? Okay, so maybe you won't be dead when the day is done, but you'll be dead pretty daggum close to it. We are working on our war machine and moving our war machine as much as we can. We do still need to focus on all the other things. But yes, we are sh should be able to get a... What am I trying to think of? My goodness. Stronghold. That's what we're working on across the board because I think it will really, really help. And just like that, the court convenes one last time. To discuss the tragedy of our defeat. We tried our best to serve and protect our nation, but Rome will go down as a minor footnote in the history of the old world. Oh, my word. Yeah, let's show how this came to pass. I'm really, really interested. Because, well, this, like... Oh, I really wish this would show you, like, a concrete history. Here we go. Oh, this is our timeline specifically, which shows all of our leaders. Oh, this is really freaking cool. Yeah, so you can see at some point, Carthage just started waging major war against them, and then they were able to eke it out. Now, they won because they had so many legendary cities. Look at all of that. Now, we had a few on our own. Egypt even was able to pop out in front of us. Regardless, it sucks, but... What is what it is. I, I just... Can I export it? I can export a GIF of all of this? What? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, this is really cool. This is super cool. All right, so we can basically see how they won and where they did. Very nice. Okay, well, that's super fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We ended up losing. We, I feel like we did okay. There's definitely a lot that we could have learned and definitely a lot to still learn overall, but I had a blast. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this series. I do appreciate it. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Maybe some Crusader Kings 3 or even Victoria 3 with the updates that are coming. Anyways, guys, you know what to do. Support the channel. You can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. Leave your comments, as always, in the comment section. If you want early access to all of these types of videos, become a YouTube member. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and it always is super supportive, but never, ever required. This is Havoc with Old World. I'll see you later.